Okay, uh, so there's a good few videos in YouTube that talk about um, this thing here and the absolute value. I don't want to repeat that, but when it gets a little bit more complicated, there might be questions around, does it matter which way I do it? Um, and I'm going to go no, so I'm going to do this two different ways and uh, see how we go. So I'm going to go uh, two ways down the left and right hand column. I'm pretending that that's a question in the test and I'm going to write it from the book onto the page without changing anything. And when I get there, I'm going to look at that and recognise the pattern and go, I really want the numerator to be the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of the denominator is negative 1. To get a negative 1 on the top, I need to put two negatives. So I'm going to put a negative on the top and a negative on the outside to counteract it. Now on the inside, I've got that pattern where the derivative is on top of the function. So we know that's going to go to... Um, so that's that negative, and then I've got the natural log of 1 minus x. You'll note I'm just putting in normal brackets there. Let's just leave it like that for the time being. So there's our answer. Done. Let's do it a different way. Again, I'm going to write it out. So let's just say I'm thinking differently. A different student might look at this and go, hey, if I've got... I need the derivative on top, so what do I need the bottom so that the derivative is 1? I really want that to be a positive x. How am I going to get that to be a positive x so that it's in that pattern? So they might go, hey, how about I factor out a negative 1? So they might put a negative out the front and a negative down the bottom, which really isn't any different than we did first. You can see over here on the left we put two negatives, one out the front and one in the numerator. On the right, we put in two negatives, one out the front and one in the denominator. It doesn't matter where the two negatives go, um, so it shouldn't make a difference. Anyway. That rearranges it so that I'm back in that pattern, the derivative on top of the function, so we get the answer, the natural log of x minus 1 plus c. We've got one question and we've got two different answers. Clearly, both answers need to be the same. There is only one answer in maths. Therefore, 1 minus x and x minus 1 has to be the same thing, otherwise we've broken maths. What's the only way that we can get um, 1 minus x and x minus 1 to represent the same value so we get the same answer? Absolute value. So if I was getting an answer on the left-hand side, I'm going to go equals the negative of log absolute value of 1 minus x plus c. If I'm doing it on the right-hand side, negative log absolute value of x minus 1 plus c. Now, no matter which way we write the x minus 1 or 1 minus x, it is the same answer. So we're correct. It's, it doesn't matter which way you go, the answer is correct. It doesn't matter which way you put those 1 minus x or x minus 1. That's all good. So we've integrated... What's the opposite of integrating? Differentiating. So how about we think of starting here and differentiating and starting here and differentiating and see if we see a difference. I'm going to make it a bit easier because I haven't got the negative outside of the log. Okay, so y equals log x minus 1. Let's differentiate that again. I'm going to go down. So we know y dash is going to be whatever's in the bracket will be underneath and whatever the derivative of in the bracket goes on top. There we go, y dash. Let's do the other one. Okay, so we've got whatever's in the bracket 
goes underneath and whatever the derivative of the bracket goes on top. And you can clearly see that if I rearrange this negative in particular and take it to the bottom, we get the same answer. That is proof, I guess, by way of an example, that these two functions are the same function, which is why we put this absolute value in there. I'm just gonna take it one step further for you specialist maths people watching this video. Let's go green. If you need to, let's just say it's a differential equation and you need to set x equal to three, whether you set x equal to three in there, you're gonna get the negative of log. One minus three is negative two. You just put a two in there, yeah? Whether, whereas if you put the x equal to three in here, you're gonna have negative log of three minus one, which is two. You still get the same answer. You've just got to apply the absolute value and you'll be right. Anyway, math is awesome, isn't it? Go and have some fun.